this is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. Then, then there's the occasional hybrid. Rumor has it the Stratford is playing host to a quintet of ecclesiastics. If you mean priests, yeah, uh, this, this is Father Kent. How can I help you, Larry? Hi. We made this pilgrimage to obtain papal authentication for several of our holy relics. The first one being the head of Judas Iscariot. <laughs> the thick eyebrows and fleshy cheeks are trademark features of the dark apostle. I hate to disappoint you, Larry, but this is a coconut <laughs> with a monkey's face carved in it. We do have another item that's bound to catch your ecumenical eye. The Trout of Turin. <laughs> the, the Trout of Turin? My brother Darrell befriended this particular trout while we were touring the Canadian provinces. <laughs> he became so attached to it that he kept it under his pillow. I'm afraid a fish stain on a pillowcase doesn't qualify as a holy relic. Well, Daryl, it appears as if our sacred sack is sacred no more. Come, let us part the waters of Johnny Cake Bog and seek solace in that ancient ark. <laughs> See you guys come in. Hi. This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. The, the boys seem pretty engrossed in, in their game of, of handyman. Their competitiveness harkens back to their prep school days. After one particularly fierce game of cricket, they went an entire trimester without so much as saying a word to each other. And they're, they're usually so, so damn chatty, you know? Daryl, stop waving that mouse carcass in your brother's face. I better get back to my scorekeeping duties. Maybe soon they'll break their zero to zero tie. Uh, uh, guys, yeah, it, it might help, you know, if, if you roll the, the die in, instead of that, that lump of clay. I got handyman! Oh. Hold on there, Chester. On examining your score more closely, it seems you've got a million and eight. What? Well, I'll re-add. Nine and nine are 18 and nine and 20. It well, just occurred to me. One million is not divisible by nine. This game is flawed. Fatally flawed. What a stupid, stupid game. I feel so used. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. If, if This is ridiculous. I mean, if, if this is so upsetting to all of you, then... Uh, then the one who, who gets to a million and eight wins. You can't change the rules on a whim, Dick. <laughs> it's clearly stated on the board. The first handy guy or handy gal who gets a million wins. That's the rule. I wrote it myself. This game is a sham. <laughs> and a travesty. I've never been so upset. And if I had my thesaurus, I'd really nail you to the wall. Come, Charles. <laughs> Aren't you, aren't you going to check in? <laughs> We'd rather check out, little man. I, I prefer little monkey man. <laughs> and to think I literally kissed the ground you walked on. <laughs> My brothers would stick their tongues out at you in derision, but their mouths are filled with clay. <laughs> really tasty. Right. So crispy. You know, you don't actually need anything with them. Just plain is... You know, I... I couldn't help but notice no one has touched my, my dip. <laughs> Yours truly took a taste test earlier, Dickitos. And I must say, dippity doo da, dip it be doo doo. <laughs> my brothers and I couldn't get close enough for a taste due to the blinding smell. Tim's here. I'd recognize the sound of that battered old Hugo anywhere. <laughs> oh, right, right. Tim, Tim Conway tries the Hugo. <laughs> That's a, that's a good one, Charles. <laughs> I'm late, guys. 
took the long way so I wouldn't have to pay the toll. <laughs> hey, you know, if you can save a quarter by cutting across somebody's backyard, why not, huh? <laughs> Who's the guy laughing at the straight lines? That's, uh, that's Dick Loudon. He promised he'd behave. Hi, uh, Jim, I'm a big, big fan of yours. I think, I, I think I've seen everything you've, you've ever done. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, did you see my TV series, Rango? No. Turn on. No. Some fan. <laughs> what died and became dipped? Dick made that. Daryl thinks it's a derivative of mustard gas. <laughs> Let's get going here, huh? You know, I spent three dollars in gas to get over here, so the sooner I win it back, the sooner I'll stop shaking. <laughs> Let's Andy up your ten cent pieces. <clears throat> oh, by the way, Daryl now considers bluffing to be a sin, so he'll occasionally be engaging in self-flagellation. <laughs> All right, everybody, show Pappy what you got. Hold, 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 hold it, Pappy. What, what, what happened? What, what happened to raisin? These aren't matchsticks we're playing for. These, these are real dimes. <laughs> Raising is verboten in this casino. Where do you think you are? Fabulous Laughlin, Nevada? <laughs> well, what, what kind of game is it if, if you can't raise? What, what, are, what are we playing? Remedial poker? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let them raise, all right? Huh? I mean, what's it going to cost us? Another nickel? Actually, a, a quarter. <gasps> quarter? <clears throat> oh, boy. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. You got yourself a gambling problem here, mister. Yes, sir. <laughs> You ought to get professional help. I'm gone, boys. Tim, yes, sir. please don't go. No, no. Oh, no. My little change purse is not safe as long as he's still breathing. Dick, stop breathing. You're ruining things for everyone else. Is there a cheap place in town to eat here, boys? Danny's Diner out on Route 14. You can get a whole meal for under $3. Oh. Uh, maybe I'll just have the soup. <laughs> All I did was, was raise a, a quarter. <laughs> oh, how could we have told Dick about this game? It was the promise of dip that clouded our thinking. The only bright spot I can find is that it wasn't my loose-lipped brothers who spilled the proverbial beans. <laughs> Any chance they get to make that gesture, they take advantage of it. Time seem gratuitous. I mean, why, why am I getting all the blame? I mean, you, you have to admit that the Tim Conway is a, a, a bit on the on the cheap side. <gasps> Hi, I'm Larry. This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. Larry, Scoots. <laughs> you again, dear Lawrence. I believe the last time was at Leona's I'm Just Wild About Harry and Larry back. That was some soiree. We dropped by to offer our congratulations on the arrival of your heir and to see whether you require our expert child care services. Thank you, Lawrence, but our little Tiffany is upstairs and very capable, albeit gnarled hands. Well, then, we'll bid our adieus and return to our genetic experiments. Daryl here is attempting to cross a porcupine with a pussycat. Alack, the offspring tend to clean themselves to death. <laughs> oh, Scooter, do say hello to your mom for us. Our floors ain't been the same since she stopped scrubbing them. Pardon? Apparently, Scooter's humility prevented him from bragging about his mother's proficiency as a scrub woman. Your mother was a scrub woman? Well, before she met my stepfather, we were a mite cash poor, so That's she's... quite enough, Scooter. No, it's not. <laughs> so, Scooter, I guess this means you're not a full-blood blue blood. Well, actually, strictly speaking, I am. Oh, I've never been so humiliated in my life! Well, hopefully you'll have plenty of other chances. <laughs> 
Don't get so high and mighty with me, pet, lest we forget your grandfather sold used pickup trucks in Scranton. They were not pickup trucks. They were recreational vehicles. <laughs> oh, this is so delicious. I'm going upstairs to pack. Come along, Bernie. Oh, well, we're going to start using our real names, are we now, Shirley? <laughs> Keep a cot warm for me, dear chum. I may be bunking in for a while. <laughs> it appears I have just performed the function of deus ex machina in this little drama. <laughs> in Greek theater, the deus ex machina was raised and lowered on a rope while the chorus explained the offstage action. Well, since our chorus is relatively silent <laughs> and our rope is holding up Daryl's pants, <laughs> We'll settle for an exit upstage center. <laughs> okay. Well, my comrades, I guess it's time for us to leave our little village of Anatevka. <laughs> Anatevka, Anatevka, underfed. Oh. <laughs> in Fiddler on the Roof, all the people who live in the little town of Anatevka are forced to leave because the evil czar is... Oh, heck, just enjoy the show. Yeah, it's not often you get to see an all-millionaire production of it. I play Fiedka, the Russian goy who marries Kava. I'm Larry, this is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. We are going to Chicago, America. We have an uncle there. Sometime maybe we'll meet on a happier occasion. Meanwhile, we suffer. Oi, how we suffer. May God bless and keep the czar far away from us. I'll work hard, Papa. Well, I guess we're the whole town now, Golda. Oy vey, Tevye. Get out, Lenny. This is my brother Daryl, and this is my other brother Daryl. <laughs> Allow me to introduce our bitter halves. <laughs> let, let, let me guess. Mary, Carol, and Carol. <laughs> I'm Ronda. This is my sister Feta and my other sister Zora. We are from Long Island. <laughs> How did you six uh, meet? Well, my brothers and I Let were... Let me tell them, hon. <gasps> you see, us three girls were in Atlantic City playing Cheeto when we see these three dreamboats losing their shorts at the craps table. So I say, Seda, Zora, those three guys are going to be our future hubbies. Swear to God. <laughs> so we start to mosey over to the dreamboats when these lugs bump into us and knock us on our keisters. <laughs> we were dripping in gin. Uh oh, it was Dutch. You're both wrong. As I live and breathe, it was amaretto. It was gin. I know what I stunk like. Hey, you don't know it. Was it was gin. Gin. Your, your brothers can speak. Why, why didn't they say anything up till now? I guess they've never been this PO'd before. <laughs> Here, uh, go buy yourself something pretty. An emergency town meeting to be held at once in the sofa area of the Stratford to discuss who will be bunking with who. Uh, if it's okay, if it's okay. Chester, I, I'd like to bunk with my wife and daughter. Uh -huh. I mean my bunny burger and small fry. Uh -huh. <laughs> my 
my brothers and I would like a room for ourselves and a separate room for our wives. Preferably in a different town. 